peeps, Sarah here from Sparrow Springs, and I first of all want to say welcome to all of our new subscribers. We've had an influx, so I hope you enjoy this channel and have some fun here. Um, I do want to say if you are new here or if you're returning, whatever, make sure you stick around to the end of this video for a very special announcement. And if at any point in this video you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. Okay, so into the drawing. Okay, so today we have just kind of a bit of a doodle. Um, this has been purely an experimental piece. I have not done anything purely experimental for a while, so I really wanted to just kind of take it easy and try some new stuff and like really no, <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. So I've been working on a big project for a while and so I haven't done anything for fun in a, long, in a long time. So I have been just kind of working from a picture reference that I took of my own horse. So this is, this is my girl, Tico. She is a tri-color paint uh, mare and she, <laughs> well, she, she's not any specific breed. She's kind of a mix of Arabian saddlebred and paint horse or whatever. I don't, I don't actually know specifically. Um, she's a mutt, so, and I love her dearly. Anyways, so, um, just, I wanted to go back to my horse drawings and stuff so I didn't have to worry so much about the anatomy because really I was looking for um, just a change in style a little bit. I wanted to try something new. So I started off with my sketch as always. So I, I mean, I'm, I wasn't super, super concerned about getting the anatomy perfect, but I just wanted a general ballpark sort of thing. And then I started laying in some layers of colored pencil. So as some of you may know, I've been doing a lot with my colored pencils lately. I just got um, my first set of Faber-Castell polychromos, so I've been playing with those a lot and I have been absolutely loving them. So um, even though it doesn't have like as smooth of a texture as the Prismacolors that I'm used to, I just, I love being able to just lay in blocks of color and not worry about the lead breaking and just they layer so well and I can get all this depth of color. So I really just kinda took advantage of that and the selection of colors that I have are just perfect for all the natural, natural tones that I'm going for. So I really just kinda lay in most of my colored pencils and like it seems very light at first and so I come in later on um, with uh, another technique that I just kind of learned more about. But I mean, the other thing was I wanted to try my fine liner ink pen out and stuff because I had experimented with it, but I hadn't actually used it in any sort of artwork. So I kind of thought that would be fun just to get some bold lines and maybe get more of a kind of illustrated look to it. So I kind of like, um, <laughs> honestly, I love watching people who can just strictly draw with an ink pen and it's all like cross hatching and um, getting being able to get shape and shading and depth with a very single value kind of medium so that's always been kind of fun for me so I thought I would just give that a try and I actually really like the result of this um, and then after I got done laying in all of my layers of colored pencil, I started going in with nail polish remover. So this, I probably could have used a different kind of nail polish remover for a better effect, but this was actually something that I found off of another YouTuber's artist, um, YouTube artist's channel. Um, I'm, if any of you have done anything with colored pencil, you should definitely check out uh, Kirsty Partridge art. Um, she has tons and tons of colored pencil videos and I've just been kind of binging on them. But she talks about using solvent um, to act as like almost like a blending medium. So it just kind of breaks down the colored pencil and almost gives it more of this kind of painterly effect, which was really, really neat to me. So I wanted to give that a, give that a try. So I've been just going in with layers of nail polish remover and then the nice part is I was able to go in again on top of it and add even more uh, layers of colored pencil and really just get a deeper shadow and whatnot. Um, so all in all, I really 
actually had a lot of fun with this piece. Um, I was a little nervous because I, I mean, I always get a little nervous when I'm trying stuff I haven't tried before, but it's necessary. It's absolutely necessary for growth to be able to try new things. So, and of course it's even nerve wracking because I put it on camera for you guys so you can, you can make all of your own judgments on whether I'm doing things right or wrong or whatever. So, <laughs> it's all good stuff though. So let me know if you guys have ever tried any of these techniques before. I I loved it. I think I'm definitely going to be trying this again in some other in other pieces as well. I have a few photo references that I've picked out that I want to play play around with. So I will definitely be trying some more later. But um, thanks for joining me with this one. Um, again, I really enjoyed this one. I think I think it turned out. Um, better than I thought it would, so that makes me happy. Okay, peeps, so now for our special announcement. I have finally released my new collection, the Banished Bear Walls Collection. So this has been two years in the making. I was still pregnant when I started this, and my son is now over a year old. So it's been long in the works, and this collection has a little bit of everything. Um, <laughs> so basically I have decided to abandon the old business advice of, well, it's not old, it's actually very relevant and very necessary to find your niche. And the reason I'm abandoning this is because I have been attempting to narrow down my market, narrow down my niche for the past 17 years, and I just give up. I'm done. I'm, I'm embracing my organically eclectic style. So that being said, what is here? What is in this collection? I've got a little bit of abstract art, which has been really popular on this channel. I have lots of animals in nature, and um, I've got pencil drawings, I've got digital art. Um, I've got some of my photography all in here. I've gone off, I've done some of my typography, more graphic design kind of focus stuff. And there's literally things for different rooms of the house. It's like kitchen, living room, bathroom. Um, there's so much here. So please, please, please go check it out in the description and let me know what you think. I'm super excited for this to finally be out. So now that that is finally out, I feel like I can relax a little bit and just work on making just art for fun for a little while. So I'm hoping to be a little bit more active on this channel. So if you like all of this stuff, if you like what you see, please again, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for sticking around to the end and I will see you later peeps.